some very exciting news today. Miracle Blur is back in stock. Now there's about 15,000 of you on the wait list, so please rush and get it. But I thought for those of you who are thinking, how do I use it? I'm gonna show you a way where half my face here has no makeup on it and half has foundation and concealer on it. So I'm just gonna show you, because you asked, should I put it on before my makeup or after my makeup? I'm just gonna show you the different ways I use Miracle Blur. So it is the product that is going to blur fine lines and take away large pores and diffuse scars. It's not going to take away lines but it will make them seem less visible so I take a little bit like this it's got a sort of spongy consistency and on my side of my face I have no makeup I'm going to go up to those little um, lip lines which really are pesky and irritating and as I get older it's nothing to do with actually smoking it's just the shape of your face how much you talk um, they get bigger so I'm putting that on there um, now that's uh, I could put that on and then put uh, make uh, foundation on, blur it in. But then I can also show you over makeup how it is. So here I've got a bit of makeup on and I'm just gonna put it over. And if you've got cream-based products underneath and not a really heavy foundation, it just shouldn't make a difference. What you want to do is get that nice blur of your um, mouth lines, okay? I'm gonna try now, well not try because I know this works. I'm going to take a bit more and I'm gonna go to this scar here and I'm gonna get, I do quite a, when I have a deep scar, I take it, imagine you're filling the wall with polyfluids. So I take that and I just tap it in. So I, I even put my tongue out to really get into the scar and then I blend it over. But a lot of ladies have certain scars they don't mind and other ladies think, oh, the scar really bugs me. So that, there, the scar has, my scar has really diminished. Another place that I think it's fantastic for is if you have a sort of furrowed, furrowed brow and you wake up, if you have very deep, we call it the 11, um, it's not gonna get rid of it, but I have a slight one, which in the morning is worse. So I always suggest to people to do a massage, but you can also just, again, press it in to the depth of that little um, indentation to kind of ease the appearance of the depth of it, and then go out and blend like that. But that really has taken it down a little bit. I won't totally remove it, ladies. Sometimes I think because of how I talk to you about things, you have an over-expectation. Um, oh dear, I've got it all around my thing. Make sure you actually get rid of the excess. Then around eyes. Now, Cheryl, our customer service, has phenomenal success with Miracle Blur around the eyes. But you know, here we can have a few little lines. So the way I like to do it is I just see where those lines are and I sort of just press, I sort of stretch out my skin a little bit and I press it in and I just feel that there's a softening there around the scar area. So it is a miracle in a jar. It's why we called it Miracle Blur. And, um, and I hope you get to love it as much as I do.